Yeah, I'm gonna edit my that one. Good morning, everyone. Um, so it is six o'clock, well, almost six o'clock in the morning, and we are just setting. What? Why are you laughing? And all the fans on. He's just being na noisy. Um, so yeah, it's almost six o'clock. Um, we're just leaving home to go to work. We don't actually usually work together at this time in the morning. Um, so yeah it's actually a first this is not really a normal morning um but we both have clients at 6 a.m actually we're training a couple i've got her matty's got him uh and then we're you're not we're both just pt and today aren't we um so i think you've got you're going to oxford for a bit matt's going shopping um and i've just got some work i need to get done at home i probably will tidy the house a little bit um but yes yeah. To work we go. As you can see, the makeup is not really a main priority at this time in the morning, especially because I now have to wear a mask on a PT. Uh, so, gosh, that looks very bright. Let's see what that is. For a pre-work. Wow. Before I dive straight in, I just want to remind you guys if this video helps you or if you really, really enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up as it will really, really help towards my YouTube. So thank you in advance. So I'm now walking home because Matt took the car back, which is, oh, my mask got down, but do you know what? I don't even care right now. That beeps every time I walk past it. I don't know what it is. So yeah, I'm on my way home now. I finished my protein shake. I'm probably going to have something for breakfast. I need to tidy the room. Uh, tidy the room. I've got a whole house now, so I need to tidy the house. Uh, and then I'm going to get into the main point of this video, which I'm really excited to go through with you guys. Guys, look at that beautiful morning sky. Okay, so I am back from work. I am now going to have some breakfast and some water. And that brings me on to the beginning of the reason why I wanted to do this video. So many people say to me, what are the fundamental things that go into uh, losing weight? And there's so much stuff on the internet, there's so much stuff that you can search in, you can look it up, calorie deficit, all of this kind of thing. Uh, and a lot of the time people struggle to actually take it in, it's quite overwhelming. Um, and I just wanted to run through some of like the top things um, that I try to do to ensure that I am essentially in a calorie deficit and the things that help me along the way um, and to be honest I'm speaking on behalf of probably a lot of people who have tried uh, and these are the things that really um, kind of stick uh, they're the things that are easy to maintain uh, and they are the things that should really work for you starting with water it hydrates your muscles it keeps you hydrated um, it will help your muscles recover um, but actually one of the main things is we tend to mistake hunger for thirst um, and we then end up eating uh, overeating um, and actually all we really needed was some water um, so it's so important that you are drinking enough so another thing of water is it's obviously calorie free um, so obviously you're not then going to be drinking the fizzy drinks, um, the teas, the coffees, don't get me wrong, you can still, um, but that you're not going to be having them sugary drinks essentially um, because you are filling yourself up or quenching your thirst with some water. So yes, I'm going to carry on drinking this uh, and I'm going to make myself some breakfast. Okay, so breakfast is these like cinnamony cereal things. I've never tried them before. They're literally the nicest things I've ever had in my life, but... I've weighed out 30 grams, okay? Look how small that looks in just a bowl. So, another thing, make sure that you're not overeating. Make sure you are eating the specific portion sizes, okay? Um, I'm gonna have that with some semi-skim milk, um, but obviously I'm gonna have that in a sec. Um, and first, I'm going to have this little yogurt. Again, I rave about these all the time and I've just added some frozen berries in the top. Um, these have got 17 grams of protein in, um, so it's really good. Uh, another tip that I tend to give people is to really make sure you try and have um, a source of protein in every meal. Uh, it just means that you then are more likely to hit your protein goal in the day um, because, to be honest, that's the thing that we tend to not be able to hit throughout the day. But yeah, I'm going to enjoy this now. I will put milk in that in a sec, but I don't want it to go soggy. Um, so yeah, 30 grams only of this because it's very sugary. So surprisingly enough, the weather is actually looking quite nice today. So 
I am going to quickly nip back to my family home and take some photos for Instagram. Um, when the weather's good, I have to utilise that time, um, especially the past few weeks, the weather's been really, really rubbish. Um, so I'm going to set up, I'm going to get some bits and bobs, I'm going to quickly run to Highworth, take some photos, uh, and yeah, then I will come back and start doing all the rest of my errands for the day. Um, a Friday, I only work in the morning, so I try and do all the rest of my social media, all my admin, all of that kind of stuff, um, planning for next week, all on a Friday. Uh, and I'm actually seeing my friends tonight, so you can come with me to see my friends. Um, but yeah. Jesus. Goodness me, can you even see me? I can't really see you, but I'm hoping that you're gonna be able to see me. Um, so I'm on my way to home, or my family's home, to take some photos, do some content quick. Um, I'll probably be there for like an hour, hour and a half. Anyway, hot drinks. Sorry, I'm gonna have to do that. Jeez. Louise. So I don't particularly drink coffee or tea, um, and I know that obviously a lot of people do, um, and I know that for some people it's the thing. So I get a lot of clients that come to me and say I drink so much coffee, and it does fill you up. Um, so for a start, uh, you don't really want to be filling yourself up with coffee. You want to be filling yourself up with delicious, nutritious foods. Um, but not only that, is the sugar and the milk that you put in it is obviously not going to help. Um, sugar especially not. Um, so what I would try and do is just cut down on either A, the amount of coffees or teas that you have, or B, cut out the sugar that you are having. The sugar that is in your tea and coffee, say you have five cups of tea, five cups of coffee, or whatever it is, that's going to add up pretty quick. Um, and it's going to take a big chunk of your sugar allowance um, and that is not really what you want to be spending your sugar allowance on uh, just a coffee or a tea um, don't get me wrong I'm not saying you can't have it fully uh, but just try and cut down on it cut back on it um, and that's the thing that's really important is actually making decisions to cut back on things not cutting things out completely um, it's it's actually just making a better decision and I think that's something that you'll see repetitively throughout this video is that actually a lot of the time it's not just uh, cutting things out and actually that is one of the points uh, that I will come to a little bit later um, it's not about cutting out it's about making better decisions and eating intuitively um, but yeah I don't want to give away too much um, so I'm on my way to Highworth to take some photos and I will see you again soon I literally love this top with these shorts. They're such a nice little match. Quickly gonna train. Um, I have got a new plan from one of the coaches that I work with, um, which is really, really handy. Um, I just wanted to take up something a little bit different. Uh, so that's another thing that's really important is make sure you are planning your sessions. Make sure you're doing as much as you possibly can um, to aid that weight loss aid that work um, and yeah just get it into your routine get it into your daily motivation um, and yeah I'm gonna go do mine you need to go do yours okay Okay, so I'm home uh, from the gym. That was a really fun sesh. Um, I really am happy with my deadlifts and my front squat. I felt like it was looking real good. Um, and now I'm gonna have some lunch. So I have made some fajita chicken in the slow cooker. That was uh, yesterday. And then some sweet potato mash. Uh, I just made all of this like as prep. And then I just find it so much easier 
to obviously then eat straight away, which is handy. I'm gonna put a couple of veggies with it, um, but to start with, I am gonna just heat this up. Um, so yeah, I will see you when I pop my veggies in. Oh, it's quite colorful, a little bit of low fat cheese. Um, so obviously I have got my chicken. There is a little bit more under there. It's kind of hidden a little bit. Uh, that's probably around 100 to 120 grams of chicken. Um, obviously my sweet potato mash that I've heated up. Uh, I have heated up the chicken as well. Um, some spinach and then tomatoes, cucumber and some low fat cheese. And that's gonna bring me on to my next point. So what I would recommend is adding uh, some vegetables into every one of your meals. So handy and easy. Um, a, they will fill you up. Um, they're obviously less calorific. They're also high in fiber and fiber will decrease your hunger hormone. So it will stop you from feeling hungry, stop you from overeating. Um, so yeah, veggies are a perfect way to be added into anything, literally anything, whether it be your lunch with a side of veggies, your dinner with a side of veggies, your smoothie with some veggies, like spinach, anything like that. Really, really simple um, and really effective. And yeah, you're getting all the nutrients you need by adding veggies into your meals. So that is the next point. Add vegetables into all your meals. I'm now gonna enjoy my little vegetable bowl with my chicken. Mwah. Okay, so the whole point of this video, uh, obviously from the title, is it is gonna be my top tips on how to lose weight efficiently uh, and something that you can then maintain and kind of follow through uh, without too much hassle, okay? And that's the problem with us is we don't want hassle, we don't want anything that's too difficult, which is why a lot of us give up, okay? Um, it's not easy losing weight and that's the thing and you need to understand that actually these kind of tips are the things that are gonna make it sustainable for you and the things that are gonna make you and allow you to kind of enjoy the process whilst it goes along. Um, so obviously I've run through some of the tips that I just wanna recap. So in no order, I'm just gonna say the ones that I've already gone through. Uh, number one, drink enough water. Uh, number two, adding veggies, adding vegetables to all of your meals. Uh, number three, reducing like the sugar content in uh, your coffee, your tea, um, all of that kind of stuff. And again, a little thing that I kind of slid in there was just make sure you're prepared. Um, I always try and prep my foods. It's so, 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 so important. Not even prep, but just prepare um, that you know exactly what you're having, you plan ahead, um, because actually you don't want to get to a day and it gets to dinner time and you're not sure really what you've got left in the house. Um, you end up feeling a little bit faffy and you order a takeout. And that is where the spiral seems to go all the way back down. Okay. Another thing that I really, really want to touch on is sleep. Uh, and a lot of people don't really understand the whole concept of this. So when you don't get a sufficient amount of sleep, we affect two of the main uh, hunger hormones, and that is ghrelin and leptin, okay? So the ghrelin is the hormone that makes you feel hungry, and leptin is the hormone that will make you feel full, okay? Um, so essentially, it's just the hormone that will signal to the brain, as in when you are, or when you have an empty stomach, uh, or when you are full. When we don't get enough sleep, we release too much ghrelin and not enough leptin, okay? Um, so essentially what it means is we are going to be really, really craving them sugar treats, um, we're going to be craving any food, uh, and we're going to probably end up overeating, or if we don't overeat, you're going to eat bad, bad, bad food. You know when you come home after a night out, next day you're starving when you wake up, it's probably because you have not had enough sleep and your ghrelin is all the way, woo, sky high. Um, then you end up eating a pizza or a takeaway, uh, and they are the things that kind of really start to make, again, a knock-on effect. The night before you've gone out, you've been good, you've had a meal out and you've enjoyed yourself like you should. You should enjoy your treats, you should go out with your friends. Uh, and then you come home and you think, okay, right, there we go, I've had my night. You come home, you wake up in the morning and boom, you're starving. What do you do? You end up binging the next day on bad foods. Another thing that I wanted to touch on is something that I've started doing recently uh, and something that I actually end up doing a lot of the time over lockdown and I really, really felt like it helped. Um, and that is not buying foods that you know you're gonna snack on. Um, I definitely 100% think that since this, my snacking has gone down dramatically. Uh, and now I'm snacking on healthier foods, I'm snacking on fruit, I'm snacking on yogurts. Um, don't get me wrong, I have popcorn if I want it. Um, I will buy the odd kind of like Kit Kat, because for me, I love an orange Kit Kat. Um, 
and they're the things that are going to keep me going. But I ensure that I don't buy packs of biscuits, huge share bag crisps, because I know as soon as I sit down of an evening, I'm going to watch a film and I'm going to eat so much of that food, okay? I know it sounds like torture, but it's not. It's so important and it's the way that you will achieve some of these goals. And that's the thing is these things that I'm telling you are really simple lifestyle changes. And that's the way you really need to look at it. It's a lifestyle change and you're adapting the way that you live because you have these goals in your mind. You want to achieve these goals and these are the simple ways of putting it into action. Touching on that, I also want to ensure that you are actually treating yourself as well. So try not to completely fully restrict everything. Uh, that's another thing that I definitely have tried before and ended up in me really binging, um, going out for food and having a starter main and a dessert. Um, I always ensure that every day I treat myself to the things that I like or I have adapted um, some of the things that I like for slightly healthier options or just eating less of it. Usually when I come home from work as my treat, I will have melted chocolate and strawberries, um, or I will just have a couple of squares of chocolate. Um, and I also, if I don't have that, I will have um, Biscoff with banana. I literally mention this all the time. It just helps me through the day. I think about it all day. I'm like, mm, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this later. I'm gonna enjoy this later. Uh, and as soon as it gets to it, fine. I've eaten that, I've finished it, and I'm not gonna carry on, okay? Um, and that's the thing is you need to make sure that you do allow that balance. Um, when I eat, I don't just eat vegetables and rice and chicken. I think that's the way that a lot of people see it. Actually, sometimes I will make homemade fries and that's fine. Do you know what I mean? I want, that's what I fancy that day and that's what I'm going to have. Um, and really, realistically, if it fits your macros, we're not complaining. Sorry, memory card was full. Just had to switch memory cards. Um, so... Yeah, essentially I was just speaking and saying I really want you to ensure you don't cut out some of the things that you enjoy. You just want to eat them in moderation, okay? And a lot of that is going to be self-control, but of course it's really worth trying it. So the reason I brought that up was because I am going to my friends later and I want to show you guys what I'm going to eat there. I don't know what she's got. Um, I don't really mind going around and just kind of having what's there. I wouldn't say I restrict myself. I really enjoy myself. I indulge. I have fun and tomorrow I will be back on track. I just want to say another little point. Um, make sure when you are eating, you're eating till you're full. You don't want to eat until you feel sick. Um, and actually, I definitely find that I do that when I go out for dinner sometimes. Um, I used to really, really binge. I used to eat loads. Um, like I said, I'd have a start and main dessert. And then I'd get to a point and think, actually, I really feel unwell. I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, so make sure that you're eating until you're satiated and not until you feel sick. But yeah, I just wanted to sit down and run through a couple of the points um, with you. But for now, I'm gonna do some work, I'm gonna do some admin, and then I'm gonna take you to my friend's house later with all my friends, all my girls, and yeah, we're just gonna have a nice movie night, we're just gonna chill. Obviously, the curfew now is 10 p.m., so we can't go out too late. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go and enjoy ourselves. Not even joking, I've just spent probably about an hour and a half filming TikToks. I've not actually done TikTok properly yet, and I'm having loads of fun today. Um, so I actually need to get the admin work done that I said I'm gonna do because I am seeing my friends tonight. So I need to get working. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to add that in, just to say I'm a, I'm a new TikToker. Oh yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our snuggly surprise, all done by Paige Cat. <laughs> oh, and our snacks. Oh, look at them. They are so healthy. They are so healthy. Hmm. Ooh, I don't think I've ever had one of these. Oh, it's stuck together, I have another one. Again, thank you so much for staying to the end. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I really, really hope that it helped you along your fitness journey, along your weight loss journey. Uh, and if you guys have any questions at all, do not be afraid to give me a message. Again, thank you so much and I'll see you again soon. Mwah.